Hello everybody, my name is Stephen Mottset and welcome to tut.sm. Now I've got a nice little tutorial for you today. It is on how to make a bootable USB drive for FreeNAS. So you can put it into your NAS and boot off it to get FreeNAS. So let's get started. So you need to go to freenas.org and then you need to go down to the downloads page and download this version. So you wanted the FreeNAS USB image and just download it. I've already downloaded it there, as you can see. Then you want to download one other piece of software, and that is called Kika. So you just want to download that, install. I'm not going to show you how to install it because there's not really much point. If you've got a Mac, then you know how to install it. So, right, so that's that. So I'm just going to minimize it. And what you want to do is drag the FreeNAS, what you downloaded onto a desktop, and just right click it and open with Kika and what you'll get is this file here it's just been extracted from the XZ format so you just got the image itself and then you want to go and open up the terminal so go to launchpad and just type in terminal and what you will want to type is disk unit uh, Util, 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 and list. And what we can see here is the main operating system drive. So that's mine there. And that is my USB one there. So the main information is the disk number and that bit there, really. So, and you can normally tell which one is going to be your USB by actually seeing the size of it so this is 15 gig it won't be anywhere near the size of uh these uh, these values so you've got 128 gig there um if you're really uncertain which one yours is then what you can do is take out the drive safely remove it take it out then run this uh this uh util and uh, util uh this uh list again and then you can see which one is missing, then just plug your drive back in and see what number it is. So when you've done that, what you want to do is type in, actually you can just press up and then get rid of list. And you can just press, um, what do you want? You want unmount disk with a capital D. And then we want to put in this information here. So it is forward slash dev forward slash forward slash uh, disk two and press uh, press enter and then it says it's uh, removed the disk or mounted it and then what you want to do is paste in this information. Now there's actually no you don't. First you need to do one more thing. Now don't be worried if you don't want to actually type all this out. Is that I'll put this in to the description and so you can just copy and paste it if you want to now what we need to type is cd so we want to take it to a desktop and we want what, tilde forward slash desktop and then we can paste that there now this will actually create the usb uh, the bootable USB, so it's going to grab this image up here and then put it onto the and uh, onto the drive, onto the USB drive. There you go. So there's two little things you need to make sure. You want to make sure that this number hasn't changed. So if you were watching this in the future and they brought out two point two uh, two point two point two. Uh, nine then you want to put 2.2 point whatever there and the other thing is you want to change the disk number if you have and if your disk is at another number so that is it you just want to press enter and I forgot one more thing I need to put sudo right at the front of this so as you sudo like that and then press enter and then you just want to type in your password and then 
if nothing happens, no errors comes back, then it is actually creating the USB drive. And what I'll do is wait till it finishes and I'll see you again in a second when it's finished. Uh, this can take a little while depending on your computer. See you in a minute. Right, and it has finished. So that is it. Now when it's finished, it'll come up here and it'll say eject because it can't recognise the USB drive anymore because it's got Linux, um, because it's got um, free NAS on it. So this is what will come up. You just want to hit eject and that is it. You can close down the terminal and well that's it so thank you for watching please subscribe rate and comment and hope to see you soon again in the future thank you for watching